talk about is just more intensity. Now intensity can be defined as the amount of weight you're lifting, the speed at which you're lifting it, or your rest periods in between sets. The first intensity we're going to talk about is just adding more weight to the bar. If I want a big bench press, I have to progressively overload the muscle. And that means trying to outdo myself each time I step into the weight room. Now there is a periodization that we want to follow to make sure that we're recovering from our last workout. But tip two is progressive overload. So we want to make sure that whatever, we, whatever weight we lift, however many reps we do it, we want to make sure we try to keep bettering it and overloading the muscle as it adapts and gets stronger. Okay, so technique two was uh, increase the intensity and we're going to do that through progressively overloading the bar. Technique, technique three is, well, whenever we do a bench press, there's always a sticking point. The sticking point could be on my chest, it could be near lockout, but we want to address these things with different exercises. So if I have a sticking point on my chest, I want to make sure I do, I can do some rack uh, holds, isometric holds right on my chest with the bar. So I would take the bar down, three to five seconds, I'm going to hold it right on my chest. Okay, so I set up, okay, I come down, this is my sticking point, so I hold it right there. Three to five seconds and keep increasing the weight, okay? And as soon as you fail with that three to five seconds, then you can lower the weight and keep it right there. But you wanna uh, increase the tension at that sticking point. Now, let's say I'm missing a lockout. One thing you can do is rack lockouts with the bench. I would take a heavier weight than I normally could do, and I would put it probably six to 10 inches at, uh, right before lockout. So this is a good example here. I have the weight here, now imagine if I took and added weight to it, what I would do, since it's a short range motion, I can overload the movement. Now, if my bench is stuck because I can't lock the weight out, I would do rack lockouts six to ten inches. Okay. Hold it, three to five seconds. Okay, the key is to overload that range of motion. Okay, I overload on the chest by holding isometrically, or I overload the last six to 10 inches of lockout by doing heavier than I normally can do lockouts. Thanks for watching my tips for increasing your bench. Check out acceleratedmusclebuilding.com.